Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or should I say welcome back to me? Because it's definitely been a while. I was just about to wash and style my hair with these new products. Just figured I would show you guys. Maybe you guys like them. Maybe you already tried them. Um, anyways, let's just jump right in. So um, the line is pretty simple and straight to the point. There's not that many products. So you're not going to get overwhelmed when it comes to choosing something that would work for you. Um, which is actually good. So the brand is called Design Me. And the bottles just kind of look like this. This is the shampoo and conditioner. This is the shampoo. This is the conditioner. And um, their curl line is Bounce Me. They have different lines for different purposes. These bottles are 10 fluid ounces each. And I would say a little goes a long way. My hair gets super, super tangled. And the conditioner so far worked pretty well. We'll see what it does today. The scent is somewhat citrusy, but... Nothing like overpowering to the point where it's going to linger in your hair after you're done styling. For styling products, I have the Curl Balm and I have the Curl Spray. This is a gel. It says Curl Gel Spray, so it's a spray gel. Let me tell you that when I usually style my hair with a gel, I always use gel first of all because my hair gets super, super frizzy. I don't trust it at all. And after, I'm very heavy handed with the gel in my hair. After the gel, I will hairspray it. No questions asked, like I need the hairspray just in case. So let's see what it does today. I'm gonna go wash and condition and I'll be right back. All right, so I just shampooed and conditioned my hair. The shampoo is very gentle, so it's not going to lather too much, but it's also not not going to lather. Like, the lather is very mild. Um, it's not strong enough for you to actually hear, like, the suds and stuff. It's super, super gentle. It didn't dry on my hair. My hair is usually very dry because of the color. Usually super dry. It wasn't dry after the shampoo. Um, the conditioner is also not very thick. So, it sounds bad, but it's not bad because sometimes if the conditioner is too thick, it's going to weigh down your curls. This one did not. I didn't feel like my hair needed any more conditioning, so I think that's perfectly fine. Um, I did do two washes just because I really like to feel like my hair is super, super clean. So I did two washes. Moving on to the styling portion. I do like to section my hair to style it. I feel like I just get better saturation. And I have been using like the diamond brush method. Just because it gives me more uniform curls. And whenever I'm styling my hair quickly, I like to just speed right through it. I did take out the bristles on mine, so every other bristle I took out. I'm going to start at the top of my ears for the first section. And my hair is soaking wet right now. I do have my spray bottle, I'm just going to spray it down a little before. So we're just starting at the top of my ears. So I'm going to take the curl balm first. I'm gonna take this much. That might be too much. Huh? <laughs> I just need the security, you know? I don't trust it. And I'm putting it in one chunk. And I'm just trying to make sure that I'm actually saturating it because me personally, I feel like I'm so stingy with the back part of my head so I'm just making sure everything has and I'm gonna split my hair down the middle this way 
And then I'm gonna take the spray gel. And I'm just, let me wipe my hands because they're slippery. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold my hair like this. This is gonna slip on my hands. And then I'm just gonna hold it and spray that on there part two. Okay, now that I have that in, I'm not gonna really rake it through or anything. And I'm just gonna brush from under. This is going to basically train your roots to go up versus if I were to brush it downward. And I just leave it alone. Until I'm completely done with my entire head. that back and we're gonna grab the next section so the next one I'm gonna start at my temple or at the top of my eyebrow basically and I'm just gonna go straight back I'm just gonna grab the hair that I just took down okay now I'm gonna take the balm And we're gonna take this much. And I'm gonna put one hand under and one hand on top. Just so I make sure I'm getting it on both sides. And then I'm just raking my hands through. Making sure that all of my hair, even my roots, have product. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go into the gel. And the bottle is so slippery. <laughs> and then I'm going to just go under as much as I even can. I'm going to split this in half just because it's a really big piece. So this piece is going towards the back, but I'm still going to start like I did in the other piece. And I'm kind of bringing it upward. And I'm just going to let it drop. So we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm just bringing all the hair that I brought down and I'm just going to bring it forward. We're going to wet it down. I'm just twisting it to keep it in place. <laughs> We're gonna take the same amount of the balm for the other side. And then I'm just working it through. So this is the same process that I'm going through for every section. So I'm just going to be quiet and do it. <laughs> and when I get to the front, I'll explain. All right, so now that we've gotten basically to the mohawk, um, I like to just go straight back versus bringing it sideways. 
Um, so I'm just going to take a section for the back. I'm going to throw it back and we'll see um, where it falls because I am indecisive. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had bangs, which I am actually growing out and these are my bangs now. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'm trying to grow them out, but it's not like there's an actual purpose because my hair naturally falls forward. So it's not like there'll actually be a difference. Whether it's long or not, my hair is still going to fall forward. Not like I'm actually doing anything different now when it's done. I just part it on the side and just let it be. So, I guess I should get on that one. So it's curling. I'm just going to take it from under again. And pull him over. take my microfiber towel and I'm just gonna scrunch it's amazing so, you've witnessed it. I really, really like it. Um, I would try it if I were you. I am going to diffuse my hair for the sake of this video. And I'll do it on camera just so you see how it actually works with the products. So, usually with other products, my hair gets really, really frizzy if I diffuse it, which is why I go for the hairspray. But I'm going to do it on camera just so you see it as well. So, let's do that. I was going to diffuse and explain as I diffuse, and it didn't click to me that. How are you going to hear me over the blow dryer? So, <laughs> I'm going to explain what I'm doing in between my breaks because I do take small breaks and before. So, 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 literally in every video. So, anyways, I was going to say it again. This is the blow dryer that I use, and this is the diffuser that I use. Um, I believe it's called the Orchid something Orchid. I'll list it below. It's super super good. I feel like because of the size and the teeth or whatever you want to call these, it holds the hair right here instead of just having it slip over or whatever. And it's pretty large. So it's good if you have a lot of hair. That's the only thing. If you feel like your hair is a little on the finer side, it could be too much, too fast. It's going to dry the hair and have more control as it's drying. I wouldn't really recommend these for finer hair. I would go for something a bit smaller. Just to give you the control because the hair is going to be all over the place. Um, this is the blow dryer that I use. Um, it goes for about $150 to $200 when I got it. I don't know how much it is now. 
You can buy them at the beauty suppliers. I start on medium heat and I do all the power all the way because I need it to dry fast. And I will switch from all three settings. So I will switch from medium heat, I'll put it on high heat for like two seconds, three seconds. And then I'll shoot to cold so that I can just set the curls. I leave it in the same section um, that I'm diffusing for a few seconds. I don't hop around because that's going to give you more frizz and I don't want the frizz yet. So I will start at the back, I'm going to cup it, see how there's no hair there and just kind of grab it and then I'm just going to turn it on. So if you can see how much it shrunk, so we're just going to move on to the side. When I get to the back and the top, I like to diffuse my hair upside down, so I'll show you that when I get to it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it shrunk so much you can't even see. I'm going to move on to... The next section. Okay, so before I go around again, I'm just gonna get the back and the top, and I'm just gonna flip my head over. Gonna be in the shot. <laughs> so my hair is practically completely dry and this is what it's looking like. There's literally no frizz. And I did not put hairspray, I did not put any other product. Literally did everything on camera and there's no frizz. The drying time was super, super quick. It usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour to fully diffuse my hair if I actually sit here and diffuse it. Um, and it's literally been 20 minutes. And that's ridiculous to me. So... I'm not going to say this is the finished look because it is still, some pieces are still wet, but these are my results and I'm so happy with it. Like this is definitely going to be a product that I repurchase over and over and over again and this is definitely going to be a product that I recommend to others, like I recommend it to you. See you guys next time. Bye.